Hi guys, so it's me again, Professor Haggard, para sa panibagong lesson, which will be about construct variables and theory. So sit tight and listen. To those who are new to this channel, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So alright guys, let us start uh, this topic. As I was saying, it is about research, construct, variables, and theory. So, ating pong i-define yung isa-isa ng mga terms na ito. And then later on, we will also relate these terms to one another. Alright, so first, let us define in research what is a construct. Okay? So, Ang construct o constructs ay pangkalahatang konsepto o paksa para sa isang pag-aaral. So, basically yung pinaka, tawag natin, ang pinaka term na dapat mong tandaan when it comes to construct, this is a concept. Ito ay isang concept or a combination of a set of related concepts. Okay? So, yung keyword na dapat tandaan kapag sinabing construct, these are concepts. Alright? And also, maaari silang maging abstract at hindi direct ang nauobserbahan or meaning not directly measurable. So, isa to sa mga uh, karakteristik ng construct na sila ay naturally, eh, hindi naman talaga naturally, but they could be abstract. Hindi sila direct na nauobserbahan. Ibig sabihin, they are not like if we are going to uh, compare to variables, hindi sila necessary na my measure because these are concepts so this will lead us to these two types of definition na mahalagang malaman natin yung two types of definition in relation to construct because let me first define it so that i can explain it to you so una do we have two types of definition dictionary definition and operational definition so anong ibig sabihin kapag sinabing dictionary definition so Dictionary definition gives the equivalent words in a different language and are not particularly useful in scientific research. So, kapag uh, pinag-aaralan natin yung tungkol sa construct, kung gagawa tayo ng construct, alamin natin yung mga concepts surrounding our research. So, ang mangyayari, kung dictionary definition yung ating uh, kumbaga, hinahanap, hindi yun magiging useful when it comes to your research. So, it is important to bear in mind dapat yung hinahanap natin would be operational definition, which is, it defines constructs based on how they will be empirically measured. Okay? Empirically. Ibig sabihin, ma-observe. Okay? So, define constructs. So, later on, we, we, I will give you examples of those uh, constructs in operational def definition. So, example, yung income, for example. Income, uh, the concept surrounding income could be personal income, family income, di ba? Annual, monthly income, di ba? And then another, communication skill. So, if we're going to look the concepts surrounding it, uh, pwede yung vocabulary, di ba? Yung spelling. So, those are examples of construct. And, we have also temperature. It could be Fahrenheit, Kelvin, di ba? Celsius. And intelligence, di ba? Intelligence. Pwede natin siyang ma-measure. Yes, pwede natin siyang measure based sa uh, IQ score. And this is also an, one example of, we call it, construct. Okay. So, this will lead us to the topic about variable. Okay, because related kasi itong construct sa yung variable. So, may iintindihan nyo din later on. So, in research, what is a variable? Okay? So, characteristics that can vary. So, napaka-simple. Yung characteristics that can vary. Example, uh, height, for example. Yung height ng isang tao ay, ay in time, nagiging iba-iba. So, it can vary. Yung isang uh, human being compared to other beings will have different a measurement when it comes when it comes to height kaya 
that is considered as variable na may measure. So, it's a measurable representation of an abstract construct. Okay, so kapag sinabi natin variable, uh, this is yung representation ng isang abstract const uh, construct. Ibig sabihin kasi ng abstract construct, yung abstract construct, hindi pa siya namin measure. Okay, if you're going to look at the characteristics or yung concept ng abstract, may merong makuha tayong variable. So, it will represent, yung variable represents an abstract construct. Alright? So, katulad na for example, income. Di ba? Or intelligence yan. Mas maganda. Intelligence. For example, intelligence. Anong variable ng intelligence? Hindi mo basta-basta may, may measure yung intelligence. Except if you're going to uh, look into the concepts na pwede nating ma-measure. For example, sa intelligence, that would be yung IQ score. Di ba? Yung IQ score ng isang tao ay maaari ng ma-measure. So, it means that it becomes now the measurable representation of an abstract construct. So, I hope that is clear. So, how is construct related to variables? Paano naging related tong construct sa variables? So, suppose our construct is intelligence. Okay? Yung construct natin is intelligence. How are we going to measure it? Di ba? Through IQ intelligence quotient score, di ba? Or IQ score. So, ang nangyayari dito ngayon, therefore, intelligence is the construct and IQ score is the variable. Alright? So, malinaw. Yun yung relation ng construct to variables. Okay? That is, mas maganda kasi na example yung ibinibigay natin so that mas maintindihan nyo. So, for this particular example, so, related yung construct sa variable. Yung co construct natin, intelligence, and what is our variable? That would be the IQ score. So, about that, uh, wag po natin kalimutan that there is also another term that is also related to this topic, which is theory. So, in research, what is a theory? So, ang mga teorya ay binubuo upang ipaliwanag, mahulaan, at maunawaan ang mga fenomena. At sa maraming pagkakataon upang hamunin at palawakin ang mga kasalukuyang kalaman na nagtatakda ng limitasyon sa ano lamang ang maaaring suriin. So, siguro naman is familiar na kayo sa teorya. Uh, we are using now Filipino language sa pagbibigay kahulugan. So, no need to elaborate naman siguro. So, a supposition or system of ideas intended to explain something especially one based on general principles independent of the thing to be explained. So, yung pinaka key term is a supposition, di ba? That is theory. You are creating an assumption. You are creating a supposition. Which, of course, are based, habi pa nga, based on general principles. Alright? Based on existing evidences which are uh, considered not enough. Okay? That's why it, sabi pa nga sa una nating definition, kinakailangan pang hamunin. Ibig sabihin, kinakailangan pang mas patunayan. Okay? That is theory or teoria. So, example, theory of discrimination, theory of cultural racism, theory of evolution. Okay, so how is construct related to theory? Okay, so, Construct kasi, kapag sinabi natin construct, construct are the building blocks of theories. Kung baga, ito yung uh, nag, nagiging dahilan kung bakit nabubuo yung teorya. Okay? Which help explain why and how certain occurrences behave the way that they do or occurrences phenomenon. Okay? Yung construct yung tumutulong upang mag, maka Mas, madali, mas maging madali ang pag-i-explain kung bakit at kung paano nangyayari ang isang phenomenon. Okay? So, yun po yung relation ng construct sa theory. And, suppose our theory is theory of evolution. Yung teorya ng evolution. What are the concepts that makes it? Okay, yun yung dapat itanong natin sa ating sarili. So, given that meron tayong teorya, variation and heredity. 
di ba? And different concepts surrounding jury, di ba? So, yung ating construct in this situation ay ang variation and heredity. At kung meron pa kayong mga dadagdag uh, with regards to the concept surrounding itong theory of evolution, uh, of course, sa mga living things, or eh, that includes, of course, human beings. So, yung mga concepts na maaari po nating may isip about this particular theory, ito yung construct or mga constructs. Alright, so kaya nga sinasabi yung relation ng construct of theories that constructs are the building blocks of theories. So tatandaan po natin yan. So I guess that would be all for this vlog guys and thank you very much sa patuloy po nating pagsusubaybay. And I hope to see you next time for the next lesson. And that's it and goodbye.